All right. We can prove the theorem if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then opposite angles are congruent. Opposite angles being A, C, and then B and D. And we're given this is a parallelogram. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in here also as some of the attributes of about a parallelogram. So first thing is one, we have a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. And that's one that is given. And we have number two. We know, well, we know that these uh, opposite sides are going to be parallel. That's a part of the definition of a parallelogram. So definition of a parallelogram. We know that AB is parallel to uh, CD. AAB is parallel to DC. Let's put it into DC. DC. Likewise, uh, AD is going to be parallel to BC. All right, and that's the definition of a parallelogram. Because that's what a parallelogram is. It opposite sides are, are parallel. Next, we know that if this is a parallelogram, then know if I add A plus B, angle, if I add angle A plus angle B, that's going to be equal to 180 degrees. Likewise, if I add A, uh, if I add C, angle C to angle D, so now I'm going to put angle uh, B plus angle C equals 180 degrees. And we know that, three, because these are consecutive, consecutive, interior angles are supplementary. And we knew that we know that supplementary, supplementary means they equal to 180 degrees. All right. So now four, I'm going to go ahead and substitute these. Say that AB is going to equal to BC. So we know that A angle A plus angle B is going to equal to angle B plus angle C because of four substitution. And then I'm going to subtract B from both sides. So 5, we'll be left with angle A is congruent to, well, they're, they're going to be congruent because of definition of congruency, but they're equal, all right, to angle C, uh, 5. So that's because of subtraction. All right, now we know 6. So we've already taken that part. So let's do it again. Let's take angle uh, C plus B, uh, uh, B, A, excuse me, B, angle B plus angle C is going to equal 180 degrees. Likewise, angle C plus angle D is going to equal 180 degrees. Again, I go right back over here of saying that uh, uh, three, oh, excuse me, a six with a, the consecutive interior angles are supplementary. All right, and then seven, we do this, follow the same step. We set them equal to each other, so angle B plus angle C is equal to angle C plus angle D because of uh, seven, substitution. And then we subtract out angle C, which is common to both sides, eight, leaving the other angle B is gonna be congruent to angle D. All right, and that's be eight and that will be subtraction. Now, I could have added a step both at number uh, 5 and number 8, or I said that 
angle A was equal to angle C, and then the next step by the definition of congruency, make them congruent. Likewise, I could do the same down here, but I decided to go ahead and skip those uh, steps since they're pretty well self-evident. And therefore, we've got the uh, parallelogram, uh, if a quadrilateral is a parallelogram, then the opposite angles are congruent. Thank you.